So I don't know about you guys, but I love bacon. Uh, I probably eat more of it than I should. And the problem is if you're getting stuff from the supermarket, A, it's expensive, and B, you don't really know what's in there. Well, what's really cool is you can make bacon at home very, very easily. Um, I've got a little bit of leftover bacon here. This is made by a mate of mine, Sean. He actually made this using what we're gonna be using today, which is a maple bacon cure, and then cooked it or smoked it uh, in the Zeg Grill smoker. So to do our bacon, we're gonna be using the maple bacon cure from the Misty Gully guys. Now these are Aussie guys based in Victoria. Their website's smoked and cured, and they do an awesome job at making pre-packaged cures like this. So it's got everything you need. It's got the sugar, it's got the salt, and a little bit of nitrate in there to make your bacon safely and very easily. You can add a whole range of different herbs and spices to make the bacon exactly as you want it, and it's your own homemade, and there's nothing better than that. We've got a nice 1.7 kilo piece of pork belly here. We're gonna cut it down to one kilo. Let's cut through here. Some thyme, some juniper berries, Crush those, crush those, crush those. Decent amount of black pepper. Rub this right in. Just make sure you get it all over. Pretty good. And there we go. So our bacon has been in the fridge for five days. All you want to do now is take it out, give it a nice rinse. We're going to put it in a smoker until the internal temperature is up to about 70 degrees and then pull it off. Check out our bacon, we've got about five degrees to go. Oh, and we've got a couple of little beef ribs in there as well, keeping them company. All right, our bacon is ready to pull off. It's up to 67 degrees, so perfect. And it's looking lovely and oh, smoky, look at that. Beautiful, nice and juicy. Our bacon is done. It's still very hot though, so we need to let it sit for a while. Um, it's very difficult to avoid the temptation though to take a, a little slice off the corner and have a taste, but looks awesome, smells awesome. Let me flip it, show you. Nice and oily, um, and it's definitely got some good smoky flavor in there, so I'm looking forward to giving it a try. Really juicy too. I might actually take the skin off one of these because the skin's pretty tough. I'm gonna go fingers. That's bloody beautiful. The bacon turned out awesome, uh, and this is a little follow-up at the end of the video to explain a couple of things. A, you definitely gotta try this. It's super, super easy. I have made bacon before using other mixes um, that I had to blend different things together. The pre-mix from the Misty Gully guys is awesome. It came out really, really good. Not too salty, flavor was perfect. Don't do what I did, which is cut it when it's still warm. Wait until it's been in the fridge for a while, then it's really, really easy to cut. Uh, in terms of how long you can keep it, four to five days in the fridge. But of course, if you're going to do some vacuum sealing um, in plastic bags, you can put it in the freezer and it can last for months and months and months. Definitely worth having a go and you'll love it. Cheers.